Hey guys, Steve Welch here with Bima Toyota uh, in Nashville, uh, coming to you with a answer to another question that I've got, which is really good. Appreciate you guys uh, asking them. So um, definitely what I want to show you is the new Highlander. So um, the Highlander is available in two seating configurations. All right. It's available in a seven passenger or an eight passenger seating configuration. The question was about which ones you can get the bench seat on and which ones you had to get the captains on. So um, another way to answer to ask that question would be which ones can you get the captains on and which ones can you only get the bench on. Um, there's several different trim levels of the Highlander. You'll have your XLE, or sorry, you'll you'll start with your L, then your LE, your XLE, um, then you're gonna have your limited. And you're gonna have your you're gonna have your limited platinum your XSE. Now this is talking the XSE is coming out in 21. Um, so if you're looking at 20s, uh, you don't get an XSE in the 20. Um, so just kind of letting you know there. So now what I'm gonna show you here is I'm gonna show you kind of while I'm talking here, I'm gonna show you how the bench seat looks in the uh, back of the Highlander. I'll go ahead and open it up here. So this is your bench seat in your uh, Highlander. Now this is this is your uh, your tan interior, your sand beige interior here. Um, so you can see how it looks. You've got your uh, center console that can come down there for you. Um, both the seats, if you hit this right here, you can actually push them back and you can recline both sides, 60-40 split, right? And obviously you can pull that forward and enter the back. You do have your third row that's back there, a little bit hidden right now, but um, I can throw that up, to kind of give you an idea of uh, how your third row looks. Now, all of them have third rows. The third row is reclinable as well. So, and then here's the other thing is on this seat, if you actually look right here, you'll see you've got this and you can see the icon that's on there. So if you pull this up, you can actually slide it and change the legroom configuration too. So you can change how it is up here. You can change how it is in the back. Usually if you're only using the middle row, slide that puppy all the way back and get the most legroom possible out of it. So um, that being said, that's the bench seat. Now I'll just kind of turn around here. And now this is your black interior, but you'll see this is your captain's chairs. So captain's chairs are still on that same track that I just talked about. You can still pull this same one here and you can still set them different. You still have your third row in the back there, of course. Now what you'll get that's different, your cup holder is different here. So you have a cup holder in the middle. You're not losing any cup holders, but they just put them there in a different way. Some people like to be able to go through the middle. So this is your seven passenger configuration. The other one is your eight passenger configuration. Now, I'm not gonna try to say that you're, um, that you're gonna have a whole bunch of comfort back there for eight people that are my size, or for uh, three people that are my size. I mean, obviously the, the middle is going to be a little bit uh, more cramped than what the outside would be, but you definitely have the ability to put, I mean, you know, three people that are normal size in the back there and have them be comfortable. So, or, or children, of course. Um, so those are your two configurations on whether it's the bench or whether it is the, uh, so that was the captain's, this one's the bench. So whether it's the bench, whether it's the captain's chairs. All right. So now... Here's the next part of that question, all right? So first, there's your what. So there's there's the two configurations that you can get the third or, or the second row in. So the question is, which ones have which, all right? So if you're looking at them and you see one that is the L or the LE, the L or the LE, they're gonna have cloth seats on the inside. Now we're right next to the highway here, so they're gonna have cloth seats on the inside and they are going to be um, only available with the bench seat. So the L to LE will only be available in the bench seat. All right, so that'll kind of narrow you down there. If you're looking for captain chairs on the most base level, you're not gonna find it, all right? Now the X, or, or sorry, the uh, Platinum and the XSE, so 21 we're talking again for the XSE, but the Platinum will only be available with the captain's chairs. 
you cannot get the Platinum with a bench seat. So um, if you're trying to carry eight people and you want to go top of the line, the highest you can go is the Limited. So now here's where you, you get your, your options, all right? So your XLE, your Limited, and, um, see, and, and your hybrid versions of them, the XLE and the Limiteds, you can get either one. So you can have, and it's what's known as a no cost option. So you can get a bench or you can get the captain's chairs um, and it could come with either one of them depending on how it was set up. It doesn't cost more for a bench. It doesn't cost uh, more for a captain's chairs or vice versa. It's just, that's the uh, one that you can get. So, um, or, or sorry, you'll get the one that's either in it or the one that you would order. So if you're looking for eight passenger seating and you want the top of the line, like I said, limited. If you're looking for the cheapest one out there, but you really want to go with uh, um, the captain's chairs, you're going to have to go with the X, uh, XLE. So that's going to give you that. So like I said, your hybrids are the same way. So you got to be in the XLE, the limited, um, or the... Um, uh, platinum on the hybrids in order to have the bench seat so um or sorry in order to uh let me back that up you have to be with the xle or the limited um in the hybrid in order to be able to get the bench seat or the captain's chairs once you get to the platinum it will only have the captain's chairs and once you go down to the levels the the le you're only going to be able to have the uh, bench seat in the hybrid as well. So um, hopefully I've uh, kind of narrowed that down just a little bit for you um, and didn't confuse you too much. So um, kind of a quick rundown too on the interiors. If you have the L uh, or the LE, you're gonna have a cloth interior. The XLE, you're gonna have leather interior. When you get to the um, LE, or sorry, when you get to the um, uh, limited, You'll have perforated, uh, heated and cooled on the uh, the front seat. And then your platinum, you're going to have your, um, uh, also gonna have your heated and cooled, uh, your front seats will be heated and cooled. You get a couple extra options for the interior when you go get to the platinum. And then the XSE uh, should be heated and cooled as well. Um, I haven't seen one in person yet because as of the time of this video, they have not landed yet, um, but they should be heated and cooled. And then I also know that there's a option for cockpit red leather, um, which if you want to see what that looks like, look up the Camry with the red leather in it. And you're going to probably look the same way there. So if you're walking through a dealership, you see the Camry with the red leather, look at that color. You, you'll, you'll either like it or you won't. And I'm going to be hundred percent honest with you. That's it. There's no in between. Nobody settles for it and uh nobody normally comes in and uh, uh doesn't really realize what they're looking for when they ask for it so um cockpit red leather is another option that you can get so um definitely building our inventory back up so uh when it comes to uh, having the highlanders we've got a lot that are actually on the ground now um by the way if you're ever looking at the back of one and you want to know which trim level you're looking at it's actually very easy so first off if you're looking at a hybrid you'll have the blue around the uh the uh, um, Toyota symbol there, and you'll usually have hybrid on the side and hybrid on the back, like you can see on this one. You'll have your hybrid here, and you'll have the hybrid on the other side that's up there on the fender. Um, now, if you're looking for trim levels, always look down bottom right of a Toyota. You're gonna find it down there. So that one's obviously an XLE. This one's a limited, all right? Um, XLE again. When you're in the hybrids, they won't say they're all wheel drive, even if they are, um, or even, even though they are. Um, so now this one's a non-hybrid XLE all-wheel drive. So you'll see the AWD, that gives you your all-wheel drive, of course. Um, we have a lot of XLEs, definitely. So, um, But as you're looking at different ones, you'll see limited here. And that was a limited all-wheel drive, of course. So just kind of giving you an idea of how you can just kind of walk. Now, if you don't see, and I'm up to the right force here, um, I'll see if I can find you an L, but I don't seem to have an L on the ground. So um, if you don't see anything on the bottom right, so this is actually with every Toyota. Um, if you don't see anything on the bottom right, it's actually going to be the most base level. So if there's nothing down here, if it doesn't say XLE, doesn't say LE, doesn't say anything, if there's nothing down there, you're looking at the lowest trim level. Um, unless you're looking at an old one and it fell off or, you know, somebody took it off or something like that. But if you're looking at the new ones, how Toyota does it, anything that's an upper level trim 
will have it indicated on the back. XLE, Limited, Platinum, um, when you're talking about the Highlander. But when you're looking for the L, don't look on the back and try to find one that says the L. You're not gonna find it. They don't list it that way. So, um, like I said, I'm, I'm always trying to give you guys a little bit of extra information so um, you can see it. I've got another spot. I have some Highlanders, so I'm gonna actually walk over here while we're talking here. But I try to give you guys all the information that I can uh, that I can give you so that you have literally no questions uh, in which one you're looking for and you can uh, definitely hop into uh, whichever Highlander best suits you and your family. So once again, your uh, eight passenger, seven passenger, the whole reason that I did this video, uh, bench seats uh, or the captain's chairs uh, dictate what your uh, passenger level is. And this one right here is an L, so that's why I'm kind of walking over this way. Actually, this one's an LE. So um, you'll see that one's an LE down there, not all wheel drive. So um, I don't have an L. So anyway, so the L's are a little less prevalent, but um, they look very similar on the interior to the, uh, to the LE. Um, so that's why I thought that one might have been an L. So anyway, so I'm just trying to help you guys out. Definitely, uh, if you guys have any more questions, please put them in the comments for me. Um, or right next to hospitals, everything else. You guys hear some sirens there. Apologize for that. So um, anyway, so uh, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. If you're looking to buy a car, uh, definitely reach out to me. You can definitely get a hold of me here at the dealership. Um, you know, Once again, my name is Steve Walsh with Beeman Toyota in Nashville. I'd love to be your salesman. love to help you guys out. Hopefully, I've helped you guys to know which one you can get which seating configuration on. So once again, Steve Walsh with Beeman Toyota in downtown Nashville. I sure do appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, take care of me as well on that. So uh, I can keep doing these videos for you. So. Uh, Steve Walsh, Pima Toyota in downtown Nashville. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you guys soon.